Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hello everybody, the captain here. People are asking me about, I had to, done a video with this jacket before. I said, dude, where'd you get that pimp jacket? Mr. Lee, my buddy, good, uh, Mr. My good buddy, Mr. Lee got it for me for my birthday. <clears throat> and it's a $1,500 jacket. I'm like, dude, Mental Quail, you do not ride that on your motorcycle. He's like, if, if you fall wearing that jacket on your motorcycle, make sure you land on your face, Mr. Quail. Very, very nice jacket, I take it away from you. <laughs> good old con. Uh, so anyway, uh, Jack writes, Hey asshole, here's my situation. 25 years old, veteran, no kids, no debt. I live in Jersey. God, why do you guys live in Jersey? What is the draw? Anyway, finishing your six-month welding uh, school next month and need some guidance, uh, career, uh, time management advice. After finishing my stint in the Navy, I went to college for two years but was uninter uninterested there was constantly pissed off at the ultra-liberal environment. After flunking out, I spent a year bumming around Europe figuring out what I wanted to do with life. That was good, man. I realized that I was always immensely drawn to industrial projects and construction, so I decided to learn a skilled trade. I have almost completed a structural plate welding program, and I really enjoy doing this, but I want to make it to an even higher level by becoming an engineer. I believe that a combination of hands-on skills and work plus engineering school would make me a phenomenal engineer. My goal is to work part-time or full-time while going to community college for a mechanical engineering associate's degree and then use the rest of my GI Bill to go full-time and get a bachelor's. I estimate the associates will take between three to four years while I work. The types of welding jobs out here involve either construction or shop work. My concern is that if I work construction, I'll be unable to go to school because of all the traveling I may have to do as well as being tired from hard days of work. I worked as a construction laborer during the summer, so I know how this can be. The pay in shops is often less than construction, however, you get less, exper you get less experience, although not all shops are like this. Today I interviewed with a manufacturing shop that does jet engine turbines, and it seemed like a really cool job with lots to learn and do. I just have to pass a welding test to potentially get the job. Tomorrow I have another welding test with a construction company that does it all, subways, bridges, roads, and it seems like a really cool job for me if I get it, but I'm not sure if I can handle going to school and doing that job at the same time. The manufacturing shop is part-time work, 30 hours a week from 3 p.m. to 12 a.m. Oh, really? You work at a night shift, huh? That's kind of interesting. So it's a jive well with school. I don't know yet about a construction company, though. A few other options I looked at is joining a union or doing seasonal work. I have applied to the Boilermakers Union, and I have a written test in one month with the, with the Plumbers Union. The union pay would be better, but I've heard a lot of negative stuff about union politics. Oh, yeah, in Jersey? Fuck. It, yeah. I, don't, I, I would get out of New Jersey, frankly, but if, if you like it, you can stay there. But. And since I don't have an uncle or a daddy in the union, I'd probably be the bottom guy on the totem pole. I also applied for a merchant marine card so I could do work on ships and sail the world if I can't get a job here, but I'm not even sure how to get a job doing that. Lastly, I have some money saved up, so I've considered the Alberta oil sands. I'm a dual Canadian citizen, or maybe Texas or the shipyards of Virginia. Now, that oil boom is going away. you got to make sure that um, some oil rigs are still operational because they have a lower break-even point, and, but they're closing a lot of oil rigs down. So you want to, I think it's in the south that they have uh, lower break-even points. If I do the merchant marine thing or if I go to a different state to weld, I plan on doing this for at most six months out of a year and then coming back and going to school for six months in New Jersey. Ah, why New Jersey? The reason I'm so stuck on New Jersey is because I have an awesome girl here that I have been with for four years. She's studying nursing and has four to five years left and then she is done. I'm strongly inclined to move to a different, cleaner, nicer state, but until then I'll stay, stay here. And take my education skills as far as I can. Yeah, see if she can move. <laughs> oh, not sure if this is relevant, relevant, but my parents are upper class toxic twits. So I have not spoken to them in nine months, nor am I planning to. I'm planning on doing everything on my own. My question, which is the most realistic option? for the two-pronged work school approach. Working second shift at a shop, school at the day, uh, work construction, school in the evening, work seasonal job, school full time when I'm back in the state. Alright, here's what I recommend you do. The whole point of becoming a welder or a tradesman is so you don't have to go to school. And 
you have a very uh, welding is a great talk to Danny from 504 welding is a great skill to have and you are going to make a lot of money you're probably going to make more money especially if you're willing to go out in the Bakken oil field or work someplace that most other people don't want to go you're going to make more than the fresh kid graduating with his degree in mechanical engineering uh, the other thing that, that I'd recommend is so I just saying just work as a welder see if you don't make a lot of money um, and, and down the road then consider slowly getting your degree in engineering because I think you're gonna one you'll gain the experience two a, a degree that quick is not gonna really help you in, in your in your career you're always already gonna be a welder you're gonna be making pretty darn good money uh, but then the third reason I would suggest that you don't get your degree just yet you know maybe get your prereqs get some some of that stuff out of the way is because you're all over the place in terms of what you know plumbing merchant marines uh, oil fields, construction, boiler make, you're all over. You may find out that you don't want to do mechanical engineering, maybe it's metallurgy. Or you find out, you know, what is it, you get to work on bridges and shit, that sounds really cool. You may want to do uh, civil engineering. So I would work like a year or so, build up some capital, uh, kind of try different things, see what you really like because you may change your mind as to what type of engineer. You may all of a sudden like uh, 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 chemical engineering for some reason, you know, like, but that's where your mind will go. So, you know, maybe go to school. I would, I would do whatever pays the most and is conducive to you and your girlfriend's lifestyle for now. Um, you know, get, get some good money, get some good experience, putz around, try different things, maybe have a part-time job and a full-time job. And then maybe take some token amount of classes just to, you know, have the Navy pay for it, uh, just, to, just to get there. But then let a year or two go by of you doing welding to find out, all right, is it civil engineering you really like, mechanical, construction, what is it? And I, I would do that then. And then, yeah, go ahead, get your degree. And then by that time, what are you now? Yeah, you're 25, yeah, about, you know. Upper 20s, early 30s, people might take you seriously. Then you'd, you'd have a degree. You know, you could get your degree by the time you're 30, 31. And then maybe people will take you seriously. Um, but yeah, you would definitely, with that many years of welding, I think you would have that on-the-ground experience. And, you know, it's not all just CAD and diagrams. You actually would know it. So yeah, I think you're doing a great job. I mean, don't, yeah, great plan. Um, just don't try to make all the decisions now. Let your work kind of lead you to where you think you should specialize in engineering and go, then God almighty, get out of New Jersey. <laughs> I should write a book. Why is everyone from New Jersey? Why am I getting so many requests from Jersey? Honest to God. <laughs> it's not, I like it. I just, just like, why? What's... <laughs> anyway, best of luck to you, toodles.